In this video, let's focus on the continued fraction expansion of phi, otherwise known as the golden ratio. And we can start with this relationship for phi, that phi squared is equal to phi plus one. And what we can do is just divide each side of this by phi, so that we're left with phi is equal to one plus one divided by phi. And what you can notice is that we have a phi here in this denominator, and we can just substitute this entire value into this denominator, since all of this in parentheses is just equal to phi. So phi is one plus one divided by one plus one over phi. And again, you can notice that we have a phi in the denominator and we can substitute again this expression here in parentheses. So now we have one plus one divided by one plus one divided by one plus one over phi. And from here you can start to see a pattern. So if we continue this out, just repeatedly making these substitutions for phi from this expression here, we'll end up with all ones here in front. So we have one plus one divided by 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 one plus, and this goes on forever. Phi is an irrational number, so this is an infinitely long continued fraction. And what we can do is say that phi is equal to one semicolon, since one is this first number out in front. And then the next numbers, each separated by commas, will just be all of these numbers here. So ones in the case of phi. And because no integers greater than one appear in this expression for the continued fraction of phi, phi is considered to be one of the most difficult numbers to approximate with rational numbers. And because of this, it's often considered to be the most irrational of all numbers. So let's take a look at the rational approximations for phi, which are otherwise known as the convergence for phi. And recall that a convergent, we essentially have to cut off this expression here, this infinite continued fraction at different points. So let's say we want to cut it off here. Then we can say that phi is approximately equal to one plus one divided by one plus one over one. And if you simplify this, this is one plus one half, which is simply three halves. And so let's write all of the convergence for phi. So we have one, two, three halves, the one we just found, five thirds, eight fifths, 13 eighths, and this just keeps going. And what you can notice is that all of these numbers in the numerator and denominator, these are each Fibonacci numbers. And the further and further down this infinite continued fraction, you make the cutoff so that you get a convergent, the better the rational approximation for phi. So let's say we look at this convergent here, 34 over 21. If you calculate this, this is simply about 1.61905. And looking at the decimal value of phi, this is equal to 1.61803, and that just goes on forever since it's an irrational number. And what you can see is that these two values differ in the third decimal place. 